Good morning, y'all. Just wanted to take a couple of minutes to review my Foxy Fix rings. It is a personal. Mm. Excuse me, I just got done with my planning for the morning. I'm still enjoying my coffee. Um, I've been carrying my Foxy Fix now for a few weeks and I love the size, the personal rings. This is the Moonlit. It has black stitching in it. It is not the wide. Um, overall, I really like it. I like Moonlit. Um, the color, it's a good neutral. Everything I have is black, so it's a little bit out of the ordinary for me. The Boss Babe is absolutely great leather. It does pick up a few character marks here and there. Overall, you can wipe it down with a damp cloth. My focusing is out. You can wipe it down, um, but it does hold a little bit more. You can see some wear marks coming up on the clasp on the back where the strap is. The pin marks don't come off as easily as they would on my sugar collection. On my TNs, they're real easy. I just take them off with a little bit of Perel. All right, so let's dive in. I've spent the last few weeks decorating. Um, overall, the notebook, I'm gonna give the Foxy Fix jacket itself four out of five. The only downfall for me is the ring size, and they're one inch rings. They're the 30 millimeter Krauss. They're tight. Um, they don't slip. They're great rings. They're very sturdy. They're just not quite wide enough for me. I wish Foxy Fix would come out with an option for one and a half or two inch rings, and I would be absolutely in heaven. So, for September and October and going into November, probably the first half of November, I will be using predominantly the Bloomsicle prints and you can download her digital artwork to decorate my planner and give it a little bit of prettiness. In the front pocket, I have just some die cuts. I have the Fox and Pip collab. I have some of the Pray for Texas. Um, fundraiser stuff and then I have a couple of quick kits that I plan on using in October. Um, I have my River Street stickers. These are the stickers that I used on my tabs. And then these are some Luckity stickers, my Fox and Fix tabs. My friend Heather also downloaded the Bloomsicle and made a sticker kit for her planner and on her Instagram. I told her I absolutely had to have one and she was nice enough to give me one. And then I have the Luckity Fall Print. And this one's great. If you guys haven't seen Katie's stuff, she originally started, I believe, with Inkwell Press. But her kits work in a lot of different things. I know she's worked on resizing to work with some of the Annie Plans printables. So Katie at Luckity also has some really great stickers. And then River Street, um, you know, October is the premiere of Walking Dead. So I have my Walking Dead stickers. Now, the leather is a little flimsy in the front, so I just took and printed on a piece of 100 mil cardstock, laminated it um, with a 5 mil laminate just to kind of stiffen that up a little bit so the pocket's not as flimsy. The front dashboard I made myself is just a picture of my husband and I. It has a Target um, dollar spot clear adhesive pocket on the back, some more Luckity stickers, and then I believe this is with Love Cynthia, um, her little September calendar. For October, Sparkly Paper Co. has a really cute one that's a fox that's in the Autumn collab. Um, with Foxy Fix, and that's what I have on order to for my October. Um, just printed a piece of vellum, has my phone number, where to return the planner if you find it. Clear acetate, it's actually like a holographic acetate, and then my tabs. Now this first section is strictly future planning, um, so it's time to plan. I have the fold out from Annie Plans printables. Anything I have that's dated, um, did come from Annie Plans, and then I have the calendar or the perpetual. Um, I started using it in September, so I've just gone back and marked the front of the pages for 2018 so I can have a place to record some future plans. 
And then again, just some quick little in and out bookmarks that I made just to kind of mark where I need to be. It hangs above the planner a little bit. My today section has my dailies and my weekly overviews. Again, just a quick pocket I made, the Drama Llama with the Foxy Llama. And again, there's some Luckety stickers. There's some post-it notes. Um, I have a tutorial on how to make these pockets. So you can look on my YouTube channel and find those. I have the girl in all my planners. And then we get into my todays. I'm very minimal. I'm a very functional planner. Um, I follow a lot of the Franklin Covey techniques. So there's not a lot of decoration. It's more just washi tape and a few stickers sprinkled here and there in it. Um, for my today, I used a Fox and Pip. This is the girl on the planner stack, printed it out. This is a today sticker from me and my big ideas. It's clear, so it worked really well. It hangs over a little bit just to mark where I'm at for today. Another pocket um, from Target on a little dashboard that I made some acetate and then the Fox and Pit digital download. You can get it from her Etsy shop. I know it is a limited quantity. She did restock a few days ago. I don't know if she still has it available or not. And then I used her stickers to mark October. And then my River Street sticker marks the beginning of the new season of The Walking Dead. These little stickers are actually from Franklin Covey. They're rather old. Um, I want to say I purchased them probably in 2006. And then just the Michaels Value um, washi box. Now for October, I'm going to be using the printouts with the fold-out tab. I think it'll be a nice place just to highlight maybe some quick overviews for the week or maybe what my goal for the week is or something like that. I haven't quite decided, but I like this format. In my TN, I had this format. All right, then we get into another piece of vellum that I printed and my weekly overviews. Again, this is going to be Annie Plans Printables. This is the Fox and Pip collab. Collab. I can't talk. I haven't had enough coffee yet this morning. Birds Fly Studio makes my water trackers. My weekly life roll inserts I did myself. Um, again, this comes off the Franklin Covey kind of system. And I just made a thin secretarial pocket insert using the same cardstock print. And it has what my focus for the week in each one of my life rolls is. All right, once we get through with my weeklies, some more vellum I printed. My don't forget is going to be my notes section. Um, it also has coupons that I want to remember that I have. Um, I have the Fox and Pip um, fundraiser planner that I just kind of resized. It hangs over a little bit to mark the beginning of my notes section. These inserts I made myself. They have the Bloomsicle die cut set um, added to them. This is originally what I was going to go with and then I fell in love with that Bloomsicle paper and I went in a complete and total different direction. My fall TV premieres. My outstanding Etsy orders, again, on just one of those little secretarial pockets and just cut down some grid paper. My favorite Etsy shops are listed in there also. And then to do is going to be more my list section. Um, again, I started with originally wanting to just do a fall layout and I fell in love with the Fox and Pit Girl, so I added her to it. Um, project ideas follow up behind that and then just some blank dot grid paper to jot down notes if I need to and then my bills due section um, the vellum here is 1407 this is their coffee to go kit I just took that really cute paper copied it and printed it on vellum so it would be transparent and then I haven't started the new bills due section. Um, the one that I'm working off of is actually in my TN. This is more my everyday carry. 
this is my household planner and it has everybody's schedule in it um, it has my housekeeping notes in it um, so my current bills due are in the large one but I really want to go back um, to the Franklin Covey where you just have one planner and I know that sounds crazy I just want one planner now I'll still have a memory keeper I'll still have my journal but I want everything in one spot so it's all kind of quickly accessible so I have my bills due my passwords I originally marked the page with washi and it wasn't quite standing out enough for me so I went ahead and added a tab and these are just kind of household management I'll probably add like a household maintenance when the air filter has been changed um, just a little checklist in there my media section has my social media tracker it has my YouTube um, video trackers my trending hashtags I haven't transferred my favorite hashtags here can't sleep in the middle of the night want to go in and just take a look at what some are some of the new things that are coming out and I can search those hashtags so I like to have a running list of hashtags and then my video idea section and then just another dashboard in the back my checkbook is slid back there some extra little 1407 paperclip a shaker that I made another little die cut I don't keep a lot in the back pocket so overall foxy fix ringed personal I like the size it's very compact it makes it easy to throw in my bag and carry with me going into 2018 I will probably combine the two um, this is a foxy fix number eight it is also a boss babe it is Madison so you can kind of see how it wears I like this size better this is more an a5 and that is probably what I will go to in my ring bound for work I use a bullet journal my scribbles that matters and I think that if I had a spiral this size I could just keep it and this is not a spiral this is a ring I need more coffee um, I can keep these two together and I'll have my work notes accessible and then I'll have my overall planner accessible so absolutely loving the foxy fix rings wish I had a little bit bigger rings in there so just putting that out there if they wanted to put it on as an add-on it's definitely something that I would purchase because I honestly could probably add two more sections in here and I just don't have space for it decorating it definitely has chunked it up a little bit so I hope that you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please feel free to leave me a message I will take the time to link some of the shops where I got my stickers from all of the washi is just from Michaels um, these inserts I made myself and then again anything dated came from Annie plans printables so questions let me know if not I hope everybody has an amazing day please like the video and take time to subscribe to the channel my goal is to put a new video out about once a week with either some hacks or just an overview on how I feel the products are and also just some quick time management tips. So hope you enjoyed the video. Everyone have an amazing day and happy planning.